guys, it's Mira, and I'm back today with a reaction to Chantal's weekly shopping, grocery, and dollar store haul, and what I had for dinner. Uh, this is the first time I've recorded a reaction to Chantal. Um, I've got really, um, divided opinions about her. Uh, I know it's really unpopular to like her, but sometimes I really do. Um, sometimes I think she's a total bitch, and the entire video, I'm kind of internally screaming fuck you at the screen. Um, and I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I just really get her. Um, I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> But, um, let's just get started with this and see how today goes. Hey guys, so I'm just about to run into... Hey Chantal. ...the dollar store. It's just going to be... I'm doing my weekly shopping, so I have a huge list. I have a lot of shopping to do. I just got, like... These freaking glasses. Oh my god. I know they're really popular. They're like this trendy thing right now. I know, um, Miss Fucking Wonderful, Katie, she has these glasses. Uh, Chantal has them. I don't know who else has them, but I'm, I guess it's a thing. I think they are ugly as sin. $100 worth of wet cat food <laughs> and treats. And, um, yeah, I have a lot of shopping to do. I'm going to do my groceries. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not driving out to a place where I know there won't be as many people shopping. Um, but it's one of those annoying grocery stores that you have to put a quarter in the cart. And I don't know why, but I just hate doing it. It's like, why bother? Like, honestly, it gives an incentive for people to take, not just steal the cart, but like for a quarter, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Any oh, Chantel, here we go. The reason you put a quarter in the cart is not so that people won't steal them. It's so that the grocery chain doesn't have to pay someone to be out in the parking lot collecting carts. It helps bring their costs down, so it helps bring their prices down. Anyway. How many freaking times is she going to change her intro? Just pick something and stick with it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going into a dollar store to get some household supplies like sponges for dishes and stuff like that. So today is not going to be very interesting. Um, and I apologize if my vlog, my summer vlog wasn't that interesting. I don't have a very interesting life right now. Some days will be better than others. I'm trying to do a weekly vlog with Pete where we do something summer fun every week. So, um, I love Pete's. We need to see more Pete's. I I wonder so much what BB thinks about that, but I also have, you know what, I'm going to save that for a different video or a later time. Um, but her shirt is really cute. It goes really well with her skin tone. I think it's cute. I think her hair looks cute. I like her lipstick color. I just hate those freaking glasses. It's week we're going to be going to, we're supposed to go to Perth, Ontario, and it's a very uh, scenic town. It's deemed the prettiest town in Ontario. So that will be, that will be fun, you know? And they have a really cute downtown. We're just going to walk around and have some lunch or something. So anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to show you guys maybe what I got in my grocery haul, I guess. And, oh, and I wanted to show off my, my eye makeup. Because wow. Okay. This might be a fairly good video. Um, I'm looking at her here, and she looks very, very pretty. Um, I'm not surprised. She does do her makeup really well. The eyebrows look nice today. They're much less Disney villainous than they usually are. Um, I love the pink. I've been doing a lot of pink eyeshadow. The sparkles are cute. The liner looks great. I don't know how she does that inside line because if it's even a little bit hot out and I start to like sweat a little bit or my skin gets oily, that inside line will be smudged in a second. Um, but she looks, she looks beautiful. Okay, I'm being nice to her today. This is a surprise. I like how I did my eyeshadow, but the black eyeliner is kind of running everywhere. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll try to get some footage in the grocery store as well. Um, but anyways, so it's sunny. I'm going to put my glasses. Ugh, we do not need grocery store footage. We've all been to a grocery store. Back on, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Whew, it's 
hot. <laughs> so I just spent like 82 bucks at the dollar store. And I always think that the dollar store is going to be super cheap. And I end up spending always like at least 70 to 80 I can do that. Who can't do that? It's not that big of a surprise. $80 there. But I needed a lot of stuff. Like this stuff will last me a while. Um, all my cleaners, toilet bowl cleaner, floor cleaner, Windex, uh, pet stuff. Like I bought them a blanket. I thought you were like super into being all natural and like no chemicals and hippy dippy all that stuff. Um, so you're buying like chemicals to clean your house. What about your pets? Aren't you worried about your pets? I mean, look, I'm not saying I, I'm the queen of pine saw. I love the smell of pine saw. Um, but you know, I thought she was supposed to be like all natural and wellness queen, you know? Box. <laughs> because B, uh, BB Junes loves to sleep on BB's work clothes. And every time he's, he has to go to work, um, even, you know, it serves him right for not putting them up, but still, um, I thought maybe she would sleep on this blanket instead of his, his clothes that he leaves lying around. So, we shall see. <laughs> um, he doesn't complain or anything about it, but he has to, like, before he goes to work, he has to use that lint brush every time for, like, 10, 15 minutes, so it would save him some time. But anyway, I'm going to head to the grocery store. It's really hot. This makeup is going to sweat right off. Like, I don't know why I bothered, but I wanted to look nice for you guys. So, anyways, um, yeah, so what else did I buy? Toothpaste, toothbrushes, body wash was really cheap. I Blush, Chantel, no one cares. Got some body wash. It's not Lush, um, of course, because... I was shopping at Lush, like I'm just trying to save a bit of money, so I'm going to be putting Lush on a hiatus for now. So I just bought some soft soap brand body wash, but it had like no parabens or sulfates, the bottle said. So it's like three bucks a bottle. Okay, so there she goes. First of all, does she even know what it means when it says no parabens, no sulfates? Does she know why those things are bad for your hair and your skin? Or did she just see that on a youtube video or netflix documentary and i thought she went to the dollar store now she's saying something's three dollars um i mean look we have those here they're like family dollar dollar general i live in the states i live in new jersey if you couldn't tell by my accent um and they're not like really dollar stores like things in there aren't a dollar but then we have a dollar store which is called dollar tree and that's where everything really is a dollar um I hate that. I hate that. It's just like a pet peeve of mine. It's like, why call the dollar store when things aren't a dollar? Well, you can't go wrong, right? So I got some hand... But that's also not Chantel's fault. <laughs> so, stuff like that. So, anyway, um, I guess that's about it for now. So I will try to get some clips to show you the grocery store I'm at, and um, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Jesus Christ, Chantal, we've all been to a grocery store. You don't need to add clips in. She always does this. She always wants to show clips of her shopping in the grocery store. We all know what's in the grocery store. It's not interesting. If you want to take us shopping with you, take us shopping somewhere fun. Go to Target or something like that. But not the grocery store. Come on. I see she's got some sausages in that cart. Um, could she maybe be considering a sausage and pepper mukbang a la Amber? 
That would be funny as hell. Chantal, please do a sausage and pepper mukbang just like Amber did. It would be so funny. Just parody her. These are the best pickles. Strubs pickles. Best. I'm going to have these for dinner tonight. Chicken, $2.68. It's so cheap. What? Chicken is two sixty eight a pound in Canada. I mean, I know things are more expensive in Canada than they are here in the States, but that's really expensive for some chicken. Two sixty eight a pound is crazy. Like one ninety nine a pound is even kind of a lot. You'll like want to look for it on sale, and like you'll get it for like around like you know like dollar a dollar fifty a pound that's like a really good deal but 268 a pound that's outrageous was there like a chicken shortage in canada damn girl that card is full Selects. Come on, Chantal, you do not need garlic Alfredo rice. It's carbs and fat and calories. Come on. This is not diet food. Rice that have no preservatives, they're really good. Just for like a quick side, you know? Chips, I'm gonna snack on these. <sighs> so I just got girl get those nails filled. What the fuck? Chantal, they look horrible. Out of the grocery store. I didn't film too much in there because there was music playing for one, and it was kind of there were people around all the time, so I'm just kind of still weird about filming in public, at least when I'm by myself. Like, when I'm with Pete's, I don't find it that bad. But, yeah, you know, so. Anyway, um, oh man, Gro grocery shopping is hard at the size I am and the fitness level I'm at. Um, fitness level zero, girl. I just... It's the kind of grocery store where it's like you have to bag your own groceries and I got like $230 worth of groceries and that's going to probably last me a good two weeks other than fresh. Okay, what? Hold on. I got too much stuff to complain about here. First of all, is she about to bitch about the fact that she had to put her own groceries in the bag? I think she is. And did she also just say that she spent $230 on groceries that are only going to last her for two weeks? How fucking expensive is it where she lives? Stuff. Even some fresh, well, no, probably won't last two weeks, but, um, I think that I'll be good for a while, a little while anyway, and that was including, like, I needed a lot of, like, spices and, um, Kleenex and, uh, you know what I mean, just, like, a lot of... You can also get that shit at the dollar store. Stuff, and, um stuff that I won't need to buy next week, you know? So usually the first grocery haul is of the month is biggest. And then the next week I'll spend maybe like fifty dollars or fifty to a hundred dollars, not much. So yeah. And we're three people in the house now, so you know, that's not too bad. And how much do you really cook for BB? I mean I've seen you cook stuff. The, for both of you but how much do you really cook for BB like that's something that you could show us a little bit more of like the things you do for him I understand he doesn't want to be on video but it would be nice to see like a little bit more of your relationship because like I said I've got my own opinions on that and I'm going to be making a video like really soon like I might even do it tonight um I have some speculation about what's really going on in Bibi and Chantal's relationship, and it involves Pete's. But the thing is, like, you have to bag your own groceries, and I was like, can I have 50, 
I do have reusable bags. The thing is, like, you have to re bag your own groceries, and I just find, like, I miss those old days where you had a bag boy, like, somebody that would bag your groceries for you. Chantal, stop being such a princess. It's okay. You can put your own groceries in a bag. It's not the end of the world. We're not asking you to run a marathon. Because, like, basically it's hard for people, like, not just myself, but, like, elderly people or disabled people, if they grocery shop, they don't have anyone to help them. Basically, if you're just too poor, you want to shop on a budget, but you're too poor to shop at more expensive grocery stores where they still bag your groceries, you're crap out of luck. You have to bag your own groceries, and it's just like... I don't know. It's just like, why do they do it at some stores and not other stores? So I just miss those days, you know? But, like, I had a lot of stuff, and I was, like, already, like, in this... Again, since you're at a store that has you put a quarter in to essentially rent a cart, they're probably looking to save money so that they can save you money. So that's the reason they don't hire extra people just to put food in bags for like a good oh my goodness I kept forgetting things so I had to go back and back and I, my back was like on fire and there was nowhere to sit and I just like had to really um by the time I was done bagging the groceries I, when I got to the bag first putting all that food on the conveyor belt was really just ugh, I was so tired and then at the end I was um just I mean, you're still going to go home and put the groceries away. So maybe if it's this much trouble for you and you really can't do it, maybe just ask BB to do it. I don't understand. Trade something else with him. Is there something else that he does around the house that you could do instead and maybe just send him to the store to buy the groceries? I mean, you're making it into such a big freaking deal. Well, at the end, I was like bagging my groceries and... I was just like, oh my god, I was sweating, it was embarrassing, and even through the sweat, this matte powder I have on from e.l.f. just like... You got a mental note of that, because <laughs> I could really use that. It is summertime, and it is around 88, 90 degrees every day right now, and I work in a job that's kind of physical, that's very physical actually, um, so I could use some of that shit. Because her makeup is still really, really on point. Excuse me, came through. I just chugged a whole bunch of water. So I'm going to go home and eat. Do not grocery shop when you're hungry. That probably didn't help. And yeah. Oh, and Wednesday, I'm getting these taken off. And I'm going to just get some, some like a manicure with my own nails and some shellac. About time, girl. So also, I don't want to hear people in the comments um, being demeaned. Oh, no. Here we go. So are your comments on? Because of my fitness level or because of telling me what I should eat and all this and that because uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm <laughs> okay, Chantal. Since you don't want to hear it, nobody will have an opinion and nobody will comment under your video. You do understand that that's what YouTube is. You make a video, people either like it or dislike it, and then they give their opinions on it. <sighs> she's pissing me off today. She's she's really just complaining about everything, and it's getting on my nerves. I'm, you know, basically just, and I've been doing well with just the grocery shopping once a week, so that's starting to form as a habit. I'm just making small changes right now, eating at home, um, my three meals a day, and I'm going to add a snack in the evening. Um those crackers I know they're not the healthiest but they're lower in calories than chips and I'll have that with like maybe enough no one cares come on maybe that cheese and that and my bubbly soda water and that will help me you know curb that craving for that snack at night um which probably is a habit how about a weigh-in, Chantal? Since you're still saying that you're on a weight loss journey or a wellness journey or whatever that has to do with your weight. So let's see a way in. I'm, I, I'm curious. We're curious. Your viewers want to know. That I'm going to need to eventually kick, I know. But, you know, I'm, I'm going through a process right now. I'm doing this, you know, I'm working with, I um, actually have an appointment with the, the program psychiatrist tomorrow um, at the eating disorder clinic. So I'm going to be bringing, I don't know if I'm... 
good for her. You know what? At least, you know, I can say that for her. Amber Lynn uh, refuses to go to doctor's appointments, makes ridiculous excuses as to why she can't show up, constantly reschedules. If she does see a doctor, she only sees them once and then acts like she knows better than them and just goes and does whatever the fuck she wants to do. Quits taking her medicine cold turkey, never goes back to see them again, never goes to a different doctor. <sighs> At least Chantal's trying to help herself. Seeing the nutritional counselor tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to bring my food journal anyway. But yeah, I'll tell you guys all about that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so if you could just please not comment. I know it's public, but yeah, I hit this <laughs> lip stuff. Um, dry lipstick residue. Just please just spare me because. Chantal, we all know that you are tougher than this. When you're pissed off, you go for people's throats. So you are obviously tough enough to handle people's opinions in your comment section. So just stop. Just stop it. Leave the comments on. If you can't handle it, don't read them. As I know already, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, just... I'm not really doing a specific diet. I'm not doing keto. I made that, that recipe I made just happened to be keto friendly because it was low carb. Um, Chantal, it doesn't look like you're doing any diet. But I'm not doing keto. I'm not doing a specific diet. I'm not doing diets. I'm just watching calories right now and making sure to eat at home. So I'm going to go home and eat my dinner. And I know for some it won't look like the healthiest thing, but... It's very summery, and it's going to fit into my calories for the day, so yes, and it's going to satisfy some things I'm craving right now, so anyways, guys, um, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you whenever I get home. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff, so I'll just show you guys, like, some of the stuff that I got, but, um, not everything, but this is, I got two packs of this whole guacamole minis, because... Baby and I really like them. He's going to get the rest of the stuff. I do the shopping, he brings it in, which I would prefer going. Ah, oh, that explains it. He puts everything away. He carries all the bags in. Makes sense now. So, um, 100 calories each. So they're really good. They're quick and easy to grab with some veggies. I got two jars of this cheese pasta sauce and I know it's jar but um that sounds really good like it for my macaroni I'm gonna make and I'm gonna be doing a creepy pasta I have a creepy story ready for you guys so yes some Swiss cheese slices for sandwiches I really like this natural selections so it has nothing bad in it hardwood smoked salami I really really love like this stuff Okay, I seriously doubt that that salami has nothing bad in it. Salami is a cured meat. That means it's full of preservatives. That means it should be listed on the... There's an index that lists carcinogens, and processed meats are on that list. So, not part of your wellness journey, Chantal. So, I also got these cherry... Um, to try. I've never had them, but they're just soda water, flavored soda water. Huge bag of fresh mm, rosemary focaccia bread for sandwiches. Holy bagel. So I'm going to be freezing this stuff so that it stays fresh. And I got these pickles. Yeah, the best pickles. And got some smart macaroni. So it's like, <laughs> so it kind of tricks you for my creepy pasta recipe. And those of you who wonder where Bibi is, he's forever there. Back there, okay? <laughs> if anything changes, I'll let you know. Okay. I got roast garlic and fritter. Oh, there's those rice sides again, Chantal. None of this stuff in your grocery haul is diet friendly. Well, almost none of it is. 
foot. Um, I don't know. This is getting boring, Chantal. Speed it up. Just for a quick side. Got some Be quiet. Some ranch veggie dip individual size. They were on sale. So individual cups for my I'm gonna have some side veggies with my dinner tonight and have one of these with They're a uh, homestyle ranch. Laughing cup cheese. Some baby bell gouda cheeses. For snack. Those baby bell cheeses are so good, but they're so freaking expensive. It's easier just to get like mozzarella cheese sticks like you get for the kids. Some creamy potato salad, Ziggy's brand. Garlic. And margarine. I know this is the avocado oil one. No, it's not the healthiest and people will say you should just eat butter. But I just like, I don't know, I like the taste of margarine and I like how it spreads very easily, so. I did get fruits, I did get some fruits and vegetables. I got carrots, bananas, lettuce, peppers, but that's boring to show you, so. Mm -hmm. This was boring, Chantal. Not before. I got so much at the dollar store. I'll show you guys what I got. Repurchase. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't want to see her cleaning products all. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Maybe she's not making, planning on making cookies on those cookie tins. These are a must for the atoms. They get quite fast if you don't use these. They can just change them. Element liners. Cat litter deodorizer. Toothbrushes. Bad sponge. Pretty boring. Yeah. I got some. I think I already said this, but I love Pine Cell. There's a joke in our house where um, when my boyfriend picks up Pine Cell whenever we're out and he brings it home, uh, he makes a joke about how he's going to get lucky that night because he brought home a big fresh bottle of Pine Cell. I just love the smell. I don't know what it is. I just love it. It totally gets me. And it cleans, like, really, really well. Girl, you are too big to use natural deodorant. Everyone knows that that shit does not work. Summer, so. And I got two of these body washes. They were three bucks each. This is the moisturizing body wash, paraben free, alcohol free, dye free, pink, pink, grapefruit, and cucumber. I smell it. Mmm. <laughs> and shower curtain. I can't help it. That was cute. My bad. Use it as a liner. And big razors so that I can shave my beard. Alright. And bleach. Gotta have bleach. Alright, that's pretty much it. So I guess this video is long enough. I'll show you what I'm gonna have in the video with what I'm eating tonight for dinner. That's just something quick because I've been all day shopping and tomorrow I have early plans. And just through a oven pizza and the oven, so I'll have a couple slices with some side veggies and that's it. So, let's see you soon. Alright guys, so this is what I'm having for dinner. Slice Sausage is gross. It's terrible for you. It always has those little hard gristle bits in it that totally gross me out the second I bite into one which is why I don't eat sausage um I don't eat a lot of beef that's like that um I mean I guess this is an okay dinner that is a reasonable slice of pizza I think um the carrots are healthy 
the tip is not so healthy, but it looks like it's a reasonable portion. So, I mean, it's not bad. I would eat it, except the pizza for me would be either plain or veggie. The Delicio Supreme Pizza, some carrots, and a ranch cup. So that is it. And I will do some What I Eat in a Day videos coming up. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So, I mean, that was kind of interesting. There were definitely some boring parts. She dragged out that whole sitting in the car part way too long. Um, then showing us the stuff from the dollar store was ridiculous. The footage from inside the grocery store was a total waste of time. So there's a bunch of stuff she could have cut out. But overall, it was pretty good. Um, she looked great. Um... I don't know. I think my reaction was pretty much level. Um, kind of hated her a little bit. Kind of liked her a little bit. And that's usually how it goes with Chantal. Um, Alright, I've got another Chantal video coming up. If you like this video, please hit the like button because it really helps my channel. I am brand new and I don't have any subscribers i have one subscriber and you know what thank you so much for being my very first subscriber and i really appreciate you and i hope you're watching this video and you know that i really really love you i think it's awesome that you subbed me um so thank you um <clears throat> if you want to see more videos definitely subscribe and I will make sure you see more of what you want in the future. Leave a comment down below. I will react to just about anything. And I have a huge list in my phone of some really funny videos um, that are going to be coming up. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.